So Warner Brothers just dropped the new trailer for the next Barbershop sequel, Barbershop The Next Cut. So let's talk about it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So the first Barbershop was directed by Tim Story. It was okay, but nothing to brag about. Second Barbershop I really didn't care about, directed by Keith Rodney Sullivan, but this one is Malcolm D. Lee. And Malcolm D. Lee has a number of films under his belt that I like. He did The Best Man, which came out a number of years ago, and I love that film. It's nearly perfect. It's just a fantastic film. He did the sequel to that, The Best Man Holiday, and it was an okay sequel, but it wasn't as good as the original. Back in the day, he also did the silly comedy Undercover Brother. He also did the Samuel Jackson a movie Soul Man, which was pretty funny. Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins with Martin Lawrence. Royal Bounce with Bow Wow and Scary Movie 5. And I really didn't care for that one. But majority of his films are great. And when I saw this trailer, I laughed. It had a, a number of good jokes into it. Looks like majority of the cast from the past films are coming back. With, of course, Ice Cube and Cedric the Entertainer. We have new cast members, which are Common and Nicki Minaj. And I've seen Nicki Minaj in a role or two before. And she could kind of hold her own. And I don't think she can carry a film, of course. But she wasn't bad. And I didn't care for a Barbershop sequel. If they never made Barbershop movies again, I would not lose a second of sleep. When I first saw the trailer, initially I was on board. I was like, okay, this is, you know, pretty funny. That has some really good jokes with Cedric the Entertainer and Nicki Minaj making a fleek joke and he's saying hey there's a library down the street there are so many words you can use why use fleek I laugh I also laugh when Dion Cole was talking about he got robbed twice in a row first guy took all his money the second person robbed him beat his ass because he gave all his money to the first robber and said it was a chick I mean that was funny the joke towards the end with Cedric the Entertainer talking about the George Jefferson haircut that was funny I laughed but then they got into the story of like hey you know this is our neighborhood and it's not the same as it was and we need to take our neighborhood back Ah, uh, that story really doesn't interest me. It seems kind of bland and boring. Like I've seen it 15,000 times before. The trailer looked great at first. It was funny, I liked the cast, but when I got until the story part, you know, I just really wasn't excited about it. But I'm still gonna keep an open mind, not judge it by its cover. I mean, I like Ice Cube, I like the majority of the cast. I get my hair cut at a barbershop all the time, so I can relate. <laughs> so like I said, I'm on board. I'm going to go into the film with an open mind. It looked funny to me. It had some great jokes. I'm glad majority of the cast is coming back. Don't really care for the story that they're trying to tell, but this is just a trailer. They're not going to spill all the beans in the trailer. So I'm going to see it. It looks fairly entertaining, but hey, guys, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Do you want to see the new Barbershop film? If you haven't seen the trailer yet, there's a link in the description box for you to go check it out right now. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just let me know in the comment section below. And still, give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel to become one of my subscribers and get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. If you would like a written review of any of the films that I've seen, head over to the website. You can find it at www.justmyopinion.net. And if you would like to find my official Facebook page, you can at facebook.com slash justmyopinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me at Instagram and Twitter at justmyopinion84. So guys, thank you for tuning in for my opinion slash review on the new Barbershop The Next Cut trailer. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, head over to the website, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff and share the video. I'm not gonna get mad if you share the video. So again guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.